Throughout history, there have been many exceptional baseball players. Mickey Mantle, Willie Mays, Scott Smalls, Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, Winnie the Pooh? If you don't know about the baseball days of Winnie the Pooh, I don't blame you. Disney Wiki defines Winnie the Pooh as the titular protagonist of the franchise of the same name, a stuffed toy belonging to Christopher Robin, having a reputation as a bear of very little brains. They also go on to talk about the many video game adventures Pooh has went on, from Disney Infinity to Connect Disneyland Adventures to even the Kingdom Hearts franchise. For some reason, the baseball career of Winnie the Pooh has been deleted from the history books. Winnie the Pooh's Home Run Derby is a biographical flash game created by Walt Disney Japan back in the year 2007. It documented the triumphs and failures of Winnie the Pooh's tumultuous baseball career as he climbed to the ranks to become the ultimate slugger in the 100 Acre Wood Baseball League. Every member of the woods challenged him one by one to prove he couldn't hack it as a premier baseball player. This video is a recollection of those events. The first pitcher to challenge our hero was the number one sad boy donkey known to many around the world simply as Eeyore. He may lack a tail, but what he doesn't lack is an unorthodox way of pitching the ball with his hind legs. This never-before-seen method may have confused many, but Pooh never faltered. Well, he faltered seven times, but still clutched out the victory with a 30% hit rate. When Eeyore was asked post-game by reporters if he was proud of his performance, he was quoted saying, Wish I could say yes, but I can't. With rising confidence, Pooh continued on his path of domination, next facing the Heffalump with a heart of goal, Lumpy. Using his massive trunk, Lumpy whipped the balls towards the plate with the greatest of ease. While he managed to get a few into the catcher's mitt, and a few more into the neighboring Foul Ball River, it simply was not enough to stand in the way of the brawling baseball bear Winnie, who just continued to improve his hit rate performance, going 6 for 15 and crushing the dreams of the aspiring pitcher. Better luck next time, Lumpy. Don't quit your day job. Goofy looking Goober and distant cousin of Peppa, Piglet was the next to step up to the mound. He performed some of the strangest jumping pitches, almost having the form of a basketball player. But this was easily contended with as Pooh continued to up his hit percentage, going 50% with 10 out of 20 pitches knocked out of the park. While Pooh celebrated the victory, Piglet could be heard crying from the distance, Oh, da da dear, oh, dearie da da dear, dear, da 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 dear, dearie. Winnie the Pooh had stepped up to the task of quickly dispatching three opponents in just over five minutes of time. It seemed like this story would be too easy. No story is as simple as it seems on the outside. Footage began to emerge of Pooh using stat-boosting honey to improve his abilities at bat. The official 100 Acre Wood League had never straight out banned these kind of substances, yet they are heavily frowned upon. Pooh could be seen through historical images eating jar after jar after jar of honey, some of which would help him get the boost he needed in power, contact, and speed. He became so addicted to the stuff that he was once even found with his head stuck inside of a jar, trying to get every last morsel to increase his hit's distance by fractions of a meter. While behind the scenes things were not looking well for Winnie the Pooh, Kanga used her own controversial methods by forcing her young child, Roo, to throw the ball at her tail to get an extra speed on the pitch. The wobbling effects caused by this pitching duo's methods became very difficult to swing at, and it forced Pooh to reassess the hits in real time. While this broke child labor laws within the 100 acre wood, it did not break the power hitting Pooh's spirit as he continued dominating the field 
going 13 for 25 and taking out not one, but technically two more pitchers. The citizens of Hundred Acre Wood were doing nothing to prove Winnie's inability to play baseball. In fact, just the opposite was being proven in front of our very own eyes. Pooh was becoming the premier player in the HAWBL. Meanwhile, Rabbit had heard enough of this. Rabbit was going to put an end to this bear once and for all. Rabbit had a secret weapon. A magical ball that changed speed as it was thrown. The technology had been outlawed in the wood, yet somehow Rabbit had managed to get a hold of it. This ball was going to be the end of Winnie the Pooh. 30 pitches with Rabbit boasting that Pooh could not drill half of them out of the park. It was the toughest percentage he would face yet. Hitting pitch after pitch after pitch, Pooh laughed in the face of this ball. It was simply not enough. Pooh had hit 19 of the 30 balls and was making it through all of the competitors and it hadn't even been 13 minutes yet. Rabbit was furious over the loss and brought in the wise owl named, well, Owl? Wait, are they all named like this? Owl did not care about being a pitcher whatsoever, but his addiction to caffeine gave him the ability to do one sick, nasty, jittery curveball. Just look at this pitch. It's so wild. Pooh didn't know how to react. For the first time in his career, he simply wasn't strong enough, and after three, no, four, no, 26 strikes, he lost, going nine for 35. He didn't even make it halfway to his goal. Pooh was devastated. But Pooh knew when you get knocked down, you get back up. He returned in better form than ever, and the following matchup would be the closest of his life. Hit after hit, miss after miss, it came down to the wire against Owl's insane pitching abilities. Pooh needed 19 out of 35 hits for the victory, and it all came down to one final hit. Blam! He hits under the pressure, gets the home run, and gets the clutch victory. A valiant effort from Owl, but he just could not stop the ever-increasing skills of Winnie the Pooh. At this point, Pooh was starting to feel like he just didn't have what it takes. He continued ingesting record amounts of performance-enhancing honey just to feel the edge he needed to continue on this journey. Owl had almost defeated him, but next up was the hardest pitcher he ever had to face. Pitching balls? Why, that's what Tigger does best. He doesn't jump, he bounces. He pitches invisible balls? Now just wait one second. This doesn't seem remotely possible. The demand was set high at 28 out of 40 pitches. The rounds flew by. Defeat. Back to the honey. Defeat. Defeat. Then it happened. The ultimate choke. 27 out of 40 hits. The self-doubt was creeping back in. Another defeat. Then Pooh went on the run of his life. He had won. A commanding 31 out of 40 pitches. The animals had all been defeated, and Pooh was ready to be crowned the ultimate slugger. That is, until the final boss hit the stage. Christopher Robin was the only hope the Hundred Acre Wood had left. He would put Pooh in his place. He had a large height advantage and the throwing form of a legendary pitcher, a true sight to behold. Winnie the Pooh knew he was going to need everything in his power to win this battle, so he returned to the honey pots and slurped that buff juice. A 40 out of 50 goal seemed simply unachievable. Legend has it no one has ever hit one of Christopher Robin's pitches. The kind of pitches that keep a bear up at night. The kind of pitches that haunt a bear's dreams. Christopher Robin threw every pitch randomly, as if he had consumed every creature in the Hundred Acre Woods' soul. He had become all of them, united as one. Normal pitches, speed pitches, bouncing pitches, 
invisible pitches. Pooh got in his fair hits, but the misses and fouls were adding up. The pace did not seem possible. Loss after loss after loss. Honey after honey after honey. He had to keep consuming to keep up the pace. Loss, honey, loss, honey. The losses kept being dealt until the honey ran dry. Pooh's secret stuff was all gone, and he would have to dig down deep. And that's when it happened. Nearly six hours of exhausting attempts had passed. Christopher Robin kept playing the world's worst song as psychological warfare towards the baseball blasting bear. Winnie the Pooh had one final run to decide everything. And he lost. Horribly. It was actually really embarrassing. Rumor has it Pooh Bear's still out there swinging to this day. Christopher Robin remains undefeated. <laughs> <laughs>